これ。Aloha! I say that because it's beach theme today. That's right. And Hawaii is one of my favorite beaches Maui, Black Rock, to be specific. Beautiful snorkeling. I used to be afraid of snorkeling. Now I love it. I actually saw turtles and like swam with them and heard whales. You know that movie Finding Nemo and she hears whale sounds? I felt like little Nemo in that. Big, huge ocean, hearing those whales. It was really crazy fun. What is your favorite beach? And would you do a base fashioned after a beach theme? So now I'm going to show you not just how to do a beach, but you can apply it to any theme of how to do sand mixed with water. Or more importantly, water on top of sand. Let's get to the tutorial. So my secret weapon for the sand is ready to use grout right out of the bucket. It comes in different colors, I just prefer white, that way I can make it any color that I want. I'm adding some khaki, it's fine. Mix it into the color scheme that you like. And what I love about pre-sanded grout ready to use right out of the bucket is it already has sand in it, so it has that sandy texture that you're looking for. You don't need to use spackle if you don't want to. It's a very simple process. After it's dried for a little bit, um, but yet yeah, it's still tacky. I glued on a couple of little rocks. Darker khaki than my actual sand to make it look like wet sand is on the actual beach itself. Of course I want my beach to have a little bit of color and this part is optional. Um, but I'm going to add a little bit of green flock to it just on the edge just to give it a little pop of color. Now my other secret weapon, triple thick of course, for those of you that haven't seen my forest video. I'm adding a little bit to my palette with just a tiny drop of green because it's going to be the ocean and then a large drop of the blue ink. Mix those together just in one little area because I want different shades of this color. I'm starting with the darkest color just on the edge where I dry brushed the blue. For the midsection, I'm going to take a lighter shade of this mixture that I just made. As you can see, I'm mixing it with a little bit more triple thick to dilute it down. And I'm putting it just in the middle section. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the very top with even a lighter concoction. And then at the very, very edge top, I'm using just straight triple thick clear. I'm going to let this dry for about 20 minutes. And in the meantime, I'm cleaning up my edges, of course, with black mixed in with a little bit of water diluted down so it's not too thick. I'm now using a darker khaki for my sand, just doing a quick little dry brush, not too much. After my triple thick has dried, I want to put on another layer of just clear triple thick because I want my water to be thick. Now it's ready for the pinning. I've already pinned them. I'm marking the ends of my pins with dark black so I know where to place him. And depending on the weight of your miniature, see he's made of pewter so I had to make sure he was weighted properly so that's why my pins are so long. I'm now going to hand drill through all the way through to through the sand and then through the actual base too so it's going to go all the way. Drilling, sort of grip it in such a way where it gives you leverage and use the table to your advantage as well. You'll have to feel the weight of your miniature in your hand. If it's plastic, your pins won't be, need to be nearly as long, but because my miniature is very heavy, I wanted my pins longer. I'm just super gluing the base of each of the pins, and then I'm going to fold them over. And depending on the weight of, like I said, the weight of your miniature, you'll know where to cut your pins. You can also add a washer for extra weight at the bottom if you want. And as an extra precautionary, you can add a little bit of hot glue to keep those pins in place. And here's how the beach theme turned out. I did do another smaller 40K base, as you'll see in just a few moments, where I didn't do any dry brushing. I didn't add a whole lot of texture to it. That way you can compare and contrast. I did do another base um, with a little bit lighter blue, as you'll see here in a moment sort of like Pirates of the Caribbean sort of ocean look, feel to it. More of a flat sand, I didn't give it any peaks or anything, kept it very simple. 
but yet the water gives it just enough pop where it looks beautiful. Here's a hot tip. Remember, you can mix triple thick with any color inks, shades, or washes to give any sort of look that you're wanting. So that's my hot tip. Same with the sanded grout. You can also mix that with any color acrylic to make any color that you want, or just leave it white and it can kind of look like it can be snow or mix it with a little bit of glue and then you have a snow recipe. For those of you that have not seen my mud video, please watch it. It's free on my YouTube channel and it's similar to the sanded grout or, or uh, ready to mate, ready to use grout, but it's a little bit different concoction, which might work better for you. So have a beach in time. Thanks for watching. Mwah. Bye. Aloha. Wait, that's like kung fu. How does it go? Oh yeah, like that. Okay, I gotta practice. I gotta practice. Practicing. Practicing. Princess wave. For all the UK peeps, <laughs> they're gonna hate me. More importantly, I'm going to show you now how to make a beach theme. My eyelash just fell off. <laughs> Fake. Sorry, give it away. Okay, I just won't wear them. I tried them and they don't work for me. Here's a hot tip, guys. Don't try out eyelashes while filming. In fact, don't try them out ever. They're stupid.